Simone Corey, welcome to JCK. Tell us a bit about yourself and your background and how you came into the jewelry industry. Hi, Abby. So my background is actually architectural engineering. That's part of the trade that I've been a part for about maybe five, eight years. And I've always been an artist, I always love playing with different mediums. And to me, I will always say like it's like my left brain and my right brain is active. And jewelry provides like the perfect opportunity, the perfect medium where I can express <laughs> both sides of myself. I always felt that jewelry is so influenced by architecture. There's a connection in terms of how you're using shapes to formulate your design. Yeah, and also yeah. the engineering part. You can see that in a lot of my pieces as well, because mm -hmm. I think about how um, aesthetics and function combine. And it's so true, like you're in architectural engineering as well. You study form and you study function. And so you tend to look at pieces like, huh, if I had it, how would I wear it? And then a lot of my pieces, you'll see, I have no spring class because they have a high failure rate. So that's the engineering side. And how do you also make it aesthetically pleasing and that also like lends itself back into like design you know form and function mm. where do you draw your inspiration for your jewelry where do i draw inspiration so there's a mixture of different things there is what i'll say just everyone like observation or i will notice well i didn't like how something performed how would i modify mm. and then things in a more creative span would be just traveling or something will come into a dream and I'll like expand upon it based on experiences. So like in my collection, I have two. One that will show like more, uh, let's say fantasy because I can't think of another word for it right now. That is more on that artistic lighter version and one that's more like utilitarian and based on function. And I think like I do a lot of that. It's like left, right brain, always active. And that's where my inspiration comes through it's you know first you look at the beauty oh my god that's so pretty how would i wear it and then you look at something else and like okay well that's beautiful but is it performing well right so tell us about your collection that you're presenting at jck awesome so i have two i built upon two of my existing collection as a baby brand when i initially got in i was wavering how i wanted to position myself you know not having a collection at all just designing ad hoc pieces um, until I've formulated two strong collections that I'm very proud of and that really resonates with me as a bean. So we have the legacy line, which is a motif that is unique to my brand. So for example, let's look at this bangle. This is unique. This is the first one that started in like, oh, it's such a cool motif. It's unique to me. And what I like about it, as pretty as it is and as lovely as it is, you buy one piece in like a gold and you can build upon your existing collection. So they interlock, that's, that's cool. the form wow. and the function. I so I think about this a lot as like the everyday, the new classics where it's really giving a lot to you in the imagination to play upon. Like they're just simply beautiful on their own, but together they do a lot more or when you layer them together. So with the legacy, you'll see Anything with the three prongs, that's all the legacy. And the Lynx collection, which is smaller built upon. This one, for example, the chain, and I'll show you why I call it Lynx. I guess it's in between. I wear my locks to the front, I've always done that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, locks of class, feel, I've been a fan of them. And this was one of the first ones that I designed. And all of them just kind of, can you see? Yeah. You know, slide oh, in, slide yeah, out, awesome. okay. and then you can build upon the same thing I was telling you about. It's like you look at it at face value, and so this is the you know plain gold. They all relate links. They all link That's together, it, so yeah. you can be playing with your jewelry. Because I design with intention, and what that means is most of the pieces will be made to interact with each other at some point in the future. Mm. So starting a collection doesn't mean that it ends where it is today, you'll continue to expand. Right, that's awesome. How is your collaboration with Lorraine Schwartz, with the NDC, what are you hoping to gain from it or what have you gained from it already? Well, let's just put this very bluntly, like none of this would have been possible without them. Into perspective, August this year will be two years of me being in this industry. Amazing. So yeah. at the rate that I've been exposed and catapulted into this space with confidence, came through a lot of the mentorship through NDC, especially with pairing with an excellent mentor that helped me through the design phases. Even like, you know, we have Tara, Tara and Grant, the, the group's parents. 
Right. And if we don't, you know, have a question, we ask them. And before, what was happening is like, I'm an engineer, Googling, trying to find a solution, wrong. Trial and error, trial and error. And with them, you're able to just exceed efficiently in the right direction that I don't think it would have been possible without yeah. them. Well, it's always been a people industry on every level. And that aspect of mentorship is something that I never, ever thought about before. Um, so you've brought that to light. It's such an important part of the industry's dynamic. It is. And the industry is lovely. Like, you have so many different people with different perspectives. And it's so cool to see how we interact and the perspectives. Like, there's a lot of architectural students that or past professions that are in this industry. And I think there's just a calling to jury and I think it's more so if you have this idea in your head you can make it tangible right. and it doesn't take two years it can you know, take right. months but right. it's so cool and I don't think that's possible in all the trades and then it's an expression of who you are yes it's an extension that's cool thanks so much for talking to us thank you so much yeah.